the idea of driving down the road and saying, you know, we should, what about putting a brewery in law? Let's, let's do it. We decided we wanted to be a part of a brewery and we started fly fishing across the, uh, across the state, running multiple breweries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of where it started for you? I think so. I mean, you know, having lived in Lola for a number of years, to have to cross the oasis, the desert, to get into Missoula, really to have a local a place just close that's amazing. Yeah. Um, it just it started to give us ideas, and as, as we go fishing and we stop in different breweries, it just is a logical fit. Yeah. Yeah. And a few UFOs we've, we've heard um, have been spotted. Yeah. And a few buffalo trout tracks have yeah. been, have been, <laughs> been, well. been on the spot, the spot there. <laughs> yeah, as far as our involvement, what we can offer at the brewery is uh, socialization. A little bit, I think, of, I think a lot of people here could use that. It's the vitamin of life, and, and uh, that's what we're hoping to do. Create a social atmosphere. Obviously, Pipe Night's going to be great for, for people. Um, there are three or four organizations that we're already working with, you know, two uh, nonprofits. I think there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it is an obvious need right now. There isn't a place you can go have a good beer, have a tasty local bite, um, and, and be in an amazing city. So, I mean, again, it just, yeah, the, the, the need is there. We saw it, and uh, we'll see how it works out. The structure itself is, is unique and special in that it is, uh, there is a lot of craft timber framing in the building and a lot of custom wood that, that uh, people really don't get to experience unless they go to a really high-end home um, that is, you know, not very common because they're so expensive to do. Um, All the breweries we go across and across the state we're fly fishing. We see a different kind of social structure at each, and I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, that'll obviously set us apart first, the, the people, the locals, you know, the people coming through. Setting us apart, I think it's just going to be the team that we're going to have there when you walk in, your experience, the atmosphere, you know, the vision that we're trying to create. You know, if we're going to look at growing and doing creative and unique things in the future, I need a good team in place that's, that's going to be able to uh, take the tasks and, and uh, take uh, their experience, you know, from when we hire them and, and their own characters. and. And it's not always easy to be social, you know. Um, we, we want a social atmosphere, but uh, we're going to have to create it through the, our team and uh, the people that we hire and, and train. So, mm -hmm. our, our customers are our guests, and, and yeah. you know, we the the, the guests are, are the ones that are important. So yeah. that's just part of that quality team is going to be conveying the attitude of when you walk in the door. You feel like you're welcome, and you feel like you're in a place you belong, and want to, and want to be. That was amazing. Let's come back. That's the, those are the words I like to hear. I want to leave, and I kind of want a norm from Cheers kind of vibe. I, don't, I want them to leave knowing that hey, that person knew my name. We had a great conversation. Um, that's a great way to end the day. Yeah, I'd say about a year ago, I met most of the brewers, and uh, it's unlike any community I've ever met before. They're willing to give you about everything except the recipes, and some of them probably do that. Uh, How's that developed over time? Well, I met Pat at a homeless shelter about two months ago. And uh, remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> I remember the two months part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. for the most part, we, we have a pretty, pretty unique uh, working relationship because we, we're we allow each other, you know, autonomy, but we still um, have a common, you know, yeah. common goal that we meet on. And, and we on. we set sail on this journey with creativity in mind that we wanted to keep it creative and fun. And at the end of the day, we don't want to complicate it. We just want to have fun. You know, one day you'll have a fresh hop, the next day you have an IPA. You might have a bitter. You might have a, a seasonal. Uh, it, people enjoy trying different beers, and so what do you do with the menu? And you try not to make it complicated, but they like that creativity with the beers, so you gotta have, you gotta pass a little bit on with the food too.